I've swapped my smaller Kabuto loader tractor out for this uh, 135. Um, I've still got my bigger class loader tractor. We, we can't help ourselves, we just love our loader tractors. Um, so that 110 was a, was a handy little tractor, but it just wasn't a, a tractor that could do everything. So I, I've bit the bullet and I bought this, uh, I swapped that 110 for this 135. Um, and I've had it a day and I'm, and I'm pleased. It's got um, front suspension. Um, it's an older tractor, it hasn't got Ad Blue, but it has got that um, DPF, I think they call it, where you do the old exhaust clean, engine clean, whatever. But it, it definitely feels um, nice and uh, run in, as it were. It's, it's got 4,000 odd hours on it. It still feels reasonably sort of tight. Um, plenty of life left in it there's no sort of obvious sort of niggles with it so at the moment I'm very happy um, so we're just finishing zero grazing I'm, I'm rowing up the one thing about this it's got category 2 um, hooks on the arm so I've fished out some old uh, wings and balls that I've got uh, which was lucky to have kept them so that's uh, handy to have those as a fall back on and, and ready to go and everything's hooks up and we, we can just get straight to work so um, we're just on the last few days of zero grazing down by the river so we've dried out a little bit we've got heavy rain again in about sort of three or four days time so we're just trying to clear up now so we're getting to the end of the uh, season for zero grazing we've We've probably done about 200 acres, so just as a quick recap, we just mow it, row it up, and then we use this uh, grab just to push up and just fill our, what is a, it's sort of like a 12 ton trailer. It's um, very simple, straightforward, not particularly fast, but it's cheap and cheerful. And um, it's got us out of trouble to a certain extent. So just a quick walk around of this tractor I've just swapped out. I've already got one of these 135s but without a loader on. And it's just a very simple straightforward tractor which, which the other one has been very reliable so I'm happy as. In a normal year, we would have um, we'd have just cut, got uh, contracted to come with a forage box, pick the grass up, put it in the silage clamp, and used it out of the silage clamp almost straight away, really, because we're feeding cattle all the time. So we, we've saved a fair bit of money on on doing it like this, but it, it definitely taken up a lot of our time, and uh, we've got obviously got wear and tear on the machinery. I mean, obviously the grass would have been cut and rode up regardless. It is just the the wear and tear on the trailer and the and the loader tractor. But um, I'm basically happy with the way that it's that it's worked out. I mean, on this peat ground that we're working on now, that forage box would have made a fair mess. And uh, if we'd have done round bales, we'd have um, had a lot of plastic use. So we're feeding straight grass instead of silage, which has obviously got an extra cost to it. So you got to say that all in all is probably uh, a good thing to do so that's my two one three fives now so that's our river ground cleared for another year now so we've got a lot of moles starting to work so we managed to clear it without any major dramas we had the river come out once um, we haven't got stuck we haven't made a mess so happy day so just across the river there there's a, there's a lot of maize and to my side there that's maize there so I just wish my neighbors have some decent weather but it's uh, it's tricky when it gets wet down here